Hey guys, this is Coach Scott with HoopSense. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to go over our four out, one in motion offense that is a variation that UCLA uses. I'm going to give you five different options you can use out of this. Um, the first option we have here is just our UCLA base option. Now the only thing that makes it a UCLA motion offense versus a different kind of motion offense is we enter to the wing and we set a back screen. That's how we're going to start most of our UCLA sets. So it's pretty simple. Our, our two man is going to V cut, get open. We're going to make an entry pass there. Our bigs then are going to step up and we're going to set a back screen for our passer. This will be our first option most of the time is this cut from our point guard. If that is open, obviously we're going to hit him on that cut. Uh, after these, after the defense picks it up a couple times, they're going to start taking that cut away and we're going to have to get more to our backside actions. So after our point guard cuts through, our next sequence is going to be a ball reversal to our big man. Our four man is going to step down into the lane and we're going to set a cross screen. We're going to get that next pass from our big to our three man and then we're going to look for a cross screen layup back to our point guard. So that's your basic UCLA motion offense. Now, there's a lot of things you can do out of this UCLA motion offense, and that's what we're going to show you next. All right, variation number one is our ball screen option. So we're going to start our offense just like we did in our UCLA base set. We're going to go wing entry, back screen, our point guard's going to cut through. Now, the difference on our ball screen is that we're going to have a flare on the backside. So four is going to set a flare for two, so we have some, side of backside, some sort of backside action going. And then our big man is going to step over and set a ball screen and run a pick and roll with the three man. As our three man comes off, he's got multiple options. He can hit two or four on the backside. He's also going to have one pop into the corner to space the floor. And then obviously he's going to have the five man rolling back to the hoop. So he chooses one of these options, hopefully makes the right decision, and we can knock down a three out of it. Next option out of UCLA is what we call corner curl. So we're going to start it the same way as we always do, wing entry, back screen, point guard cuts through. Now on our corner curl, our opposite wing is going to step down into the paint and get ready to screen. As one comes off, we're going to make a ball reversal through our two man. And that's kind of our, our next option is if one is open in the corner, we're going to want to hit him for a shot. If that's not open, our five is going to turn and we're going to set what's called a pin down or a curl screen, and we're going to look for three coming off the curl for an easy layup. Option number four at a UCLA, we call this one UCLA lob. We're going to start out the same way, wing entry, high back screen, one cuts through. Now on this one, we want one, when we're teaching this, we want him to go further towards the other side of the paint. It's so obviously got three seconds in there, so he doesn't need to panic right away. So we just teach our players to stand in the middle of the lane and kind of gauge where you're at in terms of time. After he makes it to the paint, we're going to have two set a down screen for four, and we're looking for that shot there. Um, a lot of times that's just kind of our decoy. As soon as this is happening, we're going to have five pop up, make a ball reversal. Now one's going to step out, and we're going to set a back screen for two, and we're hitting them on the lob. If you got younger kids, you can still teach the lob. It doesn't have to be a catch and dunk or a catch and layup in the air. They can catch it, come down, and shoot a layup. Last option out of UCLA that we'll go over today is our high post option. This is an option that we're going to use if we are getting denied on the wings and we cannot get an entry pass, or if we just want to switch it up. A lot of times out of timeouts, this is something we'll go to. So instead of going wing entry, because our wings are being guarded tightly, we're going to have our big pop up. We're going to hit him with a high post entry. As soon as he catches, we're going to have two and four back cut hard to the rim. And obviously, if one of those is open, we want to hit one for a layup. If neither of those guys are open, three is going to step down, and we are going to run a flare action for one, and we can hit him over the top. Usually, that option is wide open, and we knock down our three. All right, guys, so those are five UCLA variations. Uh, these are really simple to run. We've run these with all age levels, and they're actually, these are really effective at all the age levels we've run it with. Um, make sure you're drilling these in practice. This is not kind of just something you're going to put in one day and run the next day. You're going to have to go over the, the back screen action because that's how you're going to get most of your looks in this offense is getting through that first set of actions. 
If you got any questions, feel free to drop a comment or let me know. Hope you enjoyed these UCLA variations and hopefully you can implement these with your team and see some success out of them. All right, thanks a lot.